So here I have a Google Sheet spreadsheet. And in this spreadsheet, I wanna turn it into an app. And if I go up to the extensions menu and I choose App Sheet, it's gonna allow me to create an app. So let's just look at the data really quickly. What I'm doing here is I wanna track devices that I check out to students at a school. Let me adjust this, this table so it all fits in the screen recording. All right, so I have a students table, I have a devices table, and I have a checkout table. On the students table, I have a student ID. It's really important that you have an ID for each student or every table should have some sort of unique identifier for that row of data always. I like to use something like a student ID or you see here on the devices one, I have device ID. You'll notice here on this devices table that I'm leaving it in table format because it's pretty and to point out that it doesn't matter. You can have it with or without the table structure, it's still gonna work with AppSheet. So I have the student ID, first name, last name, grade level, homeroom teacher, and email. So this is my student data and information. And on the devices, I'm gonna have some device ID, what kind of device it is, and information about that device. Now my third table is checkout. So I'm gonna check out a device to each student. Now I put in some fake data in here just so that when I look at my app, I can see if it's working the way that I wanted it to. But one of the things that's really important is on this checkout table that I reference the student ID, and that's gonna allow me to pull any information from that student table. And I also have the device ID, which again will allow me to pull any information from the device table. I don't have to have multiple pieces, columns of information about the device, I can just have the ID. So let's go ahead and go into the extensions menu. I'm gonna choose app sheet and create an app. This makes it so easy to create an app right from your spreadsheet data. Oh, we're setting up our new app. It's coming, it goes pretty quickly, and it's really intelligent. It give you a really good first start. So notice here it's like, hey, your app's ready. You can try this out. If I click the plus icon here, I can insert a student and give them a, a name. That's my name. I am not in third grade. Save, and I was able to add that on here. Now here's the cool thing, when I go back to the students table, you're gonna see that it added it into the spreadsheet. So even though I put it in the app and app sheet, it does show up on the spreadsheet, which is amazing. I'm gonna click out of this, and the problem I have here is you'll see it just says students. Like, what about my devices? What about my checkout? So this is pretty standard, it only imports that first sheet. So I'm gonna come over here on the left, and you'll see that it says data, I'm gonna click on data, and I have this students table, but I had three tables, remember? So it's gonna be important that I... And I wanna find that spreadsheet. Here it is. And it's automatically like, hey, I already imported that first tab. Do you want these other tabs? I'm like, yeah, I do. So I'm gonna import all of those tabs. And now I have three tables of data. So I have the students table, the devices table, and the checkout table. Now what I do when I first make the add-on is I first make sure I have all my tables. That's all the tabs that I have in my sheet. And the next thing I do is any of the columns that reference another table, I wanna set those as ref. So this checkout table, the student ID is actually referencing the student table. So I'm gonna click here on number and I'm gonna change it to ref. It's referring to the student table. So I'm gonna do ref, and when I do this, this pops up. It says, do I wanna show this? Sometimes I do, you leave it for now. You can always change your mind later. And the data type is ref, and then I wanna say what table it's referencing. So I'm gonna reference the student's table for the student ID, obviously. And then this is where it's like, what is this? Sounds a little confusing. Is a part of. Is this, I mean, feels like it. it's obviously a part of because I'm part of my app. I mean, it's, it's a part of this table. You know, when would I check this? So here's my way to understand this is I am linking this to the students table. So on the students table, if I delete a student, do I want to delete this record? So I check out a device to a student, student moves away. Do I want all of their checkouts to be deleted? I mean, I personally hate deleting data, like, ah! 
it's not something I enjoy. I mean, sometimes we have to. We want to keep our data clean. So for the most part, I would shy away from putting is a part of. If a student leaves, I'd still like to know if a device was checked out to them, especially if they haven't returned it yet. Although I'd probably check that they've returned it before I delete the student. But do you want that data to still be part of your spreadsheet? So if you're like, no, like the student's gone. I don't need to know who's not at the school anymore, who checked out a device way back then, then go ahead and check is a part of. And that keeps your day a little clear, cleaner because when you delete the student, it's also going to get rid of all the records associated with that student. I'm going to uncheck it because actually this is a really bad idea for this data set. Now there's some other options in here and you should read them. I'm going to click done. Now the other one is the device ID and it's a similar situation. I am going to go to ref, change it from text to ref. I'm in this data type text. I'm going to change it to ref. And the source of this is the devices. And again, it's got this checkbox sitting there. Do I want to delete that? If a student leaves, excuse me, if a device is removed from the system, right? I'm looking at the devices table. That's where I'm referencing, right? If the device is removed, like oh, it's broken, uh, we're getting it out of the system, we don't want it anymore. Do I also want to remove the checkout, the record that it was checked out and checked back in? I mean, maybe? But I mean, the device is gone. Like, I don't want to be, even if a student has a device, it's old, we've ejected it from the system. Do I want it to pull up in a filter to show that the student has an outstanding device? Maybe I don't. So I can checkbox that if I want to say, like, these are connected together. You delete, delete device, you're going to delete the record. I, again, don't really like to do that. So I would prefer to just have a column in my devices table that says that the device is active or not active. I can deactivate it. I can filter it out of all the results if I need to, but I could still go back and look up that the student did have a device at some point, even if the device is no longer valid. So you'd have to decide what you want to do in that particular situation. So as you reference data in one table to another, you're going to decide, is it a part of, and if an action is made on the main table, should it also do something with the linked records? That's up to you.